I will now demonstrate how I change the army the player controls in Battalion Wars on the GameCube. I have prepared a few things, a GameCube Rebuilder, an image of the game. You can dump this yourself if you own the game using Homebrew on the Wii or you can acquire it through other means. Um, we will start GameCube Builder. First we need to extract the files from Battalion Wars. Okay, we right click on the root. Then we um, extract it here. I extracted it once before, but uh, it won't hurt if I do it again. Mm, it takes a bit, but it will be ready and we can uh, do something. Okay, it's done. Uh, now we go into the directory and we go to data compound files okay here we have the level data as you can see each level has six files uh, dot out is the terrain pfd is something xml just shows um, the files used for the levels res has the resource files uh, preload has some preloading info what we need is this one okay this is the bonus level we won't need the bonus level because i will use tank okay this one this should be Titans of Tundra. There's a lot of data, so what we will need to do is Control F and we will look for a specific camera. Uh, like this. Okay, let's check. Okay, this is the only camera object with this camera type. This one is the one that controls the player's view and whichever unit it is targeting, it controls. So currently it's this one. Let's go check it out. Okay, we, uh, this is an C troop. But this is just position data, AI info, so we will go check out the base. Um, the base has much more data. Um, forward speed. Um, as you can see, it's a Western Frontier unit. Uh, yeah, it's uh, anti-armor, in this case they made a typo, and it armor. Okay, so what we want to do is, we want to look for a Tundran unit, more specifically a Tundran grunt. Uh, oh. Unit icon Okay. Oh look at this. This is a Tundron Territories grunt. Okay, so we will go up, copy the ID here. Whoops. Now we will look for um, for a grunt that actually uses this 
two base and we have found one. Uh, with some luck, this will be a grant that we can actually control. Sometimes if you pick the wrong unit, you might accidentally pick an unloaded unit, then the game will lock up. In that case, you will have to search for a different grant. Okay, let's go back to the chase. Target camera, we copy it here and save it. Now we open up GameCube Rebuilder, we close the image and instead we open this one, this directory. Okay, now we can try to rebuild the ISO. Let's call it um, Battalion was modified. And now we need to click rebuild. It takes a little bit. And once it's done, okay, it's done. Let's open up Dolphin and we will play this uh, modified game. takes a while to get to a level loading times in Battalion Wars 1 uh, not exactly great Let's go to Titans of Tundra. <laughs> Enemy gunships, time to send in the Okay, the game didn't crash, that's pretty good. Let's see, and we are controlling a Tundran uh, gunship. As you can see, now all the Tundran units are green, all the Western Frontier units are red. That's because the player's army is based on the unit it controls. We still have the Western Frontier a heads up display that can be changed. There's something in the XML files you can change, uh, but I will not show that in this video. Okay, so now that we are the Tundrans, we can go and Mm. Crush the frontier aggressors with our mighty uh, Tundran heavy tank for the glorious motherland. These light tanks are not match for the mighty Tundran forces. One light tank destroyed. Uh, the heavy tank was destroyed, but that doesn't matter. We have at least seven others. We will unleash them all on these Western Frontier aggressors.
and they go down one by one. And on once all the enemy units are destroyed, surely Marshal Nova will give us some very nice medals. Wanna be Russian voice acting impression by me. <laughs> we have changed the player's army, but the game still thinks we are the Western Frontier. You will see that in a bit when all the Western Frontier units are destroyed. We will have lost. Uh, to change that, you would need to modify scripts located in the resource file. But that's a bit more effort. Um, Welp. Interestingly, we haven't lost yet. Um, so it would trigger a lose sequence. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> 